good. It's good to know. It's good to know. Uh, allow me to look up something real quick. Uh, yes. We're gonna look up a thing now. Looking up a thing. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to look up. Hey, that's what I want to know. Uh... Oh, maybe they changed it. Well, they it used to be that you, um, what I was looking up is that it, it used to be you could just go to the thing at a certain time and it would appear. And it, they may have changed that. Ah, okay. Just somebody on a random critter. That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this part, and then then we'll go see if the dragon's there. We'll go see if that's a thing. Hi, everybody. You guys could use shirts. Or do we not like to use shirts in this in this universe? I mean, whatever. Excuse me, Junkor said you could use some extra bodies to collect fortification funding. Junkor was right, but it'll be tough. We need lumber, and the only grove close enough is full of harpies. We can fell trees with a single blow, but someone needs to keep those filthy birds off us. I hate those things. That's where we come in. You focus on felling trees, we'll focus on felling harpies. Good. And don't hold back. The world needs less harpies. Let's get started. Fine! God! Just, just like a couple of them though? Like, a couple? Yeah, concentrate on just knocking down the harpies. Like, okay, you, but do you guys also mind helping us get rid of a couple of them first? Because there's like a lot. There's a lot. No, I don't want to target my shadow fiend. I want to. I want to target harpies, bro. Hi, everybody. I'm here to suck out all your health. Ice he isn't afraid of cra cows. That's true. Those, man, those flying cows. Hey, Uncensory T! How's it going, dude? And now you guys both have different colors. And I don't know if that was changed between... Something changed between now and our last stream. That my mother didn't watch, which is good. Oh, I'll have to put up the finished uh, thing on Discord for you guys later. I, I did indeed... I finished... Working on her present, um, the the 3D printed model, and then I painted it, and then my airbrush died. Uh, it it just died, so I had to order a new one. So I'm hoping it will survive a little bit longer. D yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, it was weird because when it started, you on uh, my on Streamlabs. It was the same, so I was uh, I was very confusing. I did hear that something is coming. Hey, s suddenly harp eyes. Man, that dragon is just having having going to town. I wonder why they're just appearing. Like that that shouldn't be a thing. Oh. 
Oh, it's your PC crash. tree jeez come on man wait why do I have a branch I don't remember picking up a branch it's time to eat the branch where'd everybody go <laughs> I I played Fallout 3, loved it, didn't even try New Vegas, and it, didn't care for 4. I only got so far in 4. And I played like 10 minutes of 76 and just, it's same thing. Same thing as Fallout 4, just didn't catch, didn't capture my interest the same. And to be fair, there are a lot of video games out there now. There are a lot more video games that you can get now than there was when we were kids. Or when I was a kid. Yeah. Another time. Alright, what are we doing, guys? Escort the ogres back to the road. Alright. It may be one of those things that um, I myself may not be interested in playing, but I would, I will suggest to Dan that he can play it for the channel, um, and I'd watch that. Absolutely. I do have his um his 3d model printed for his intro um and painted the primer on it and then of course the airbrush died so i'm hoping by the end of this coming week i might actually have it finished painting and can get started on on stream creation Nobody likes the idea of putting him down. But if I have time, if I get free time and but eventually and there's nothing done. else for me to play, I'll we'll absolutely play uh, Fallout Vegas. We won't let you face all deck alone. We'll meet you back at the crawl. Okay. That's fair. I've heard I've heard really good things about it. I just I've never gotten around to it. Alright, what we got? Uh well, none of these are as good as what I'm wearing, so it doesn't matter. And on Sensory T, you also missed, um, I have some new toys. I have a new, a new mic stand thing. You guys can't see it. It's the angle's not going to work for that. I have a new mic stand thing. I have new lights. Um, I have two lights above my monitors so that it lights the green screen. So that look, should look a lot nicer. There should be a lot less fuzzy happening. Um, and I also have this new chair, which is actually a used chair, but it's still... Um, and eventually I'm going to have some faders come in so I can easily contro control the audio levels without having to use the tablet and all that. And then we're going to, me and Dan are going to discuss a new setup for him as well. Um, oh good. I'm glad. I'm, I'm like, even if I have three viewers, two or three viewers on average, man, I want, I want the thing to look nice in case it does actually grow. And then it's already like, Hey, we look pretty good. Looking pretty good. Um, and it, Mike is, is actually the same. It actually just new stand and it came with a new pop filter and, and fuzzy thing. Um, hello phone. Yeah. The one streamer I watched that usually streams weekdays is just went live. Curious. Okay. So now where are we going? Uh, oh, okay. So here's, here's the deal. 
That symbol, that green symbol, that means there's somebody who paid 400 gold, 12 gold, I don't know, some some obscene amount of money to um, have his icon appear on the map, and he's a leader. So if there's an event happening, people will flock to that symbol uh, because an event's going to happen. So the hopes is that because he's here, the dragon might show up. So I want to see if that's actually going to be a thing. Because I'd like to do the dragon fight if we can. Alright, we'll give this a minute or two. Um, my brother, actually, my twin brother paid to get that symbol on his head. So there's actually, so this is PvE. This is player versus environment. So this is really you, your personal story mission, de DLC content, um, space. He's floating around, so he might show up in a minute. We'll, we'll give it a couple minutes. Um, so, there's also uh, World versus World, which is a PvP. Except it's not... PvP for this game wouldn't make sense to have a one person versus one person, right? So it's actually Worlds. So you have... You're assigned to... Um, I don't know if you... It's kind of like servers for another game. So, like, you have the Alpha server, and the Beta server, and the Charlie server, and the Delta server. Um, all the players together. And your guild is in one server. So, like, my guild, I think, am I even in a guild? I don't even know, honestly. Yeah, I'm in Hyperbolic Bubble. Which no one has been, let's see, some of them, three years, seven, almost seven years. Alright, six years for this guy, six years. So, like, there's no one really... Who's been in this in a while, except for Reanimator Bob, who's my one best friend from high school. My brother, my brother who had this thing, well, hasn't been on in six years. But basically, your guild all is on this this one server, Alpha Bay to Charlie, whatever they call it. Well, World versus World is it pits the servers against each other. So your guild and all the other guilds in your world, in your server, fight for territory control on a map against another server so it's like a hundred people fighting each other like to, to take over towers and, and and castles and all kinds of stuff. it's actually it's really fun um, when I did play it though I was using my laptop before I got this PC even be, way before I rebuilt it six plus six years ago um, and my god I couldn't I couldn't play it. it it broke my PC so um, yeah that's the thing all right uh so we're not doing anything guys all right you know what here's we'll we'll come back we'll do my main mission and we'll come back if if um, if everyone if still if the symbol's still there we'll go to it again but for now I'm not I'm not gonna waste the stream uh sitting there waiting for a potential dragon attack which will will kill in like five minutes because there's so many people there to help but we will try to f fly through this mission just just so we don't miss it all right speak to larger 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 the ghoul is in charge now he's waiting for you thank you hello myth trees didn't larger 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 how's it going I'll make it quick. You make it quick. You're back. They say you were a big help on behalf of the entire crawl. Thank you. You're welcome. Think nothing of it. But it looks like some of these folks aren't digging in. They're bugging out. Yes, things got worse. The weather turned and Uldek's herd of monsters gets bigger all the time. Hooray. Call. Some of us will stay and fight. The rest will find safety. If things go badly here... They'll start a new crawl. Ooh. Count us with the fighters. Just No, not yet on Sensory 2. Check with Gorkin. He's in charge of our defenses. And thanks again. Um. I don't know why you're helping us, but I'm glad you're here. So it used to be that they were on a set timer. Uh, six years ago, they were on a set timer. Um, I don't know that that's necessarily the case anymore. Um... So I think now they changed it instead of it being a timer that every six or seven hours, um, it will instead. Uh oh. 
in, I think instead they changed it to instead of being timer based, it's uh, event based. So a certain certain series of events have to occur before the back dragon shows up. So even though like that um, admiral or commander or whatever the rank is was standing there, I don't think the the thing had occurred yet. So I want to do more of my main mission until such time. Uh, that it makes sense for me. Oh, we'll finish this mission and then go back and check. Rather, defend the gates of Agrigurgurg. All right, whatever. And if you're watching this vod later, or you're live now, somehow watching this, thank you for watching. Yeah, I always thought it was interesting. Um, and that's, I think, one of the lower level area dragons, too. Like, I, I think it could be, like, level 50 as opposed to level 80. Like, the final dragon boss for the main story is. You know, before DLC, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, defend Agar the Agarag call. Hey! Hey, you! Stop knocking down stuff! What's wrong with you? Who said you're gonna be breaking people's houses? That's rude. Eat, eat. I oh, know this hyena. This hyena got knocked over. Yeah, I think the timer base originally was more because it was just there was there wasn't enough content in the game there's only there are so many people that if you um if you just had it based on the event people would just constantly have the dragon show up so now because there are less people playing the game it makes more sense to have it event based um there's actually like what was the one day i was playing that's a big devourer um the one day that I was playing, I managed to like, I didn't realize that I, there was a, an in-game event. I'm like, oh, I'll just start participate in this event. Like it led to another event, which led to another event, which led to another event, which led to a bigger event, which led to an even bigger event, which led to a final event. Like it, it dealt. Um, and I was very shocked by that. Yeah, it was really fun though. Oh, did I do it? Well, yeah. We're alive, but the crawl is ruined. What a painful victory. The dragon's corruption is strong. When it got hold of Aldeck, it became ah. stronger. It would have been yeah, it was cool. if you hadn't shown up. At least now we have a chance to start over. I won't forget what you did for us. When you make your stand against the dragons. Call me, and I will repay that debt. Nice. We will. My entire order is dedicated to stopping the dragons, and soon we'll need strong allies like you. Until that day, good luck. Well, that was fun. Um, and the nice thing I'll say, too, is... Um... Ooh. This is stupid. Why are we bothering? We should just blow it all up and be done with it. All right, Tibble. Jeez. Um, a lot of those events you can do by yourself. Like, you can, you can like, like, towards the end, you'll really need other people to do it. But you can solo a lot of the events. Um, or, like, most of the events you can. So it's nice that when, um... Oh, look at all those commanders. We're gonna, we're gonna go hang out there for a minute. Um... So it's nice that you can solo it, but then other people, as you do more events, the more people will gather to help, and you just kind of it snowballs into a bigger thing. It, it's pretty, it's really fun the way they got that set up. Well, we got a couple people here. All right. Oh, I'm just standing over a 
bird? stepped on burb it's too late this person just by himself look at that person's armor that's pretty sick what is that what is his name brimstar iron coat all right fractal goddess Lily Awful Grave of the Faction Guild of Fractal Goddess. Okay. Again, like now there's two there's two or three command oh wait, what does that say? Assault's being planned against the Shatterer. Oh, 20 minutes. Okay, so we got we got 20 minutes before I something happens. Okay, you know what? Let's set a timer. <laughs> Let's set a timer for 15 minutes. How about that? More. Countdown. 15 minutes. Okay. We'll come back in, in 15 minutes. Dude looks like he's channeling the Gundam look. It, do, it does look like that. You're absolutely right. Wow, well, I was about to go all the way down there. But the end goal is to get over here. Oh! I wonder, I wonder what the point is. I don't have anything explored down there. You know, it's fine. We're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go explore. We're just gonna go continue the mission. Continue the mission. The mission! It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Let's go hang out in this cave. Come on, Bruto the Brutal. Let's go, bro. Yeah, there's actually like, so I don't have any of the special stuff, but like, yeah, you can, you can get all kinds of uh, skins and like the Pharaoh package. So like, I could look like that. Which is pretty freaking cool. What? Is, look at that! That's awesome. Who's that for? That's probably for a ranger. Uh, let's, let's see. I'm, I'm curious. Armor skins. Abaddon's mask. Whoa! That's kind of got like a sick ma reverse Majora's mask vibe. Yeah, the cape's boring. Uh, oh, wait. I could have aviator sunglasses. <laughs> oh, I would legit pay for that. I'm, I am. Oh, I am tempted. I don't, I don't. How much is 150? How much? Less than ten dollars. I'm not paying ten dollars for for sunglasses right now. Nope, not doing it. Up, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. What is that? Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. You guys can't see that. Shoot. Uh, so what I'm seeing is a serious error has occurred and prevents the program from continuing to run. You can help us prevent the error from occurring in the future by reporting it to Arianet. Please send the report button with this. Uh, uh, alright, please, w okay, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, the game just crashed. Um, I was looking in the Black Lion store. I had on a few mock items. Checked. Gems cost. Closed. Ran. Two feet. And game crashed. Okay, let's send the report. <laughs> I 
That's, that's the first time I've had this game crash on me ever. All right. Uno momento, por favor. Hold, please. I really gotta, I gotta make myself a um, technical difficulty screen. I think I need to make that a point for this next week. Thank you, Uncensored T. I appreciate it. Like, I wanted, I wanted to actually say what I did. Th there really should be no reason for that game to have crashed. Oh, I can show you though. So this was the character I was doing, the Ranger. Um, I think Stone may have been the only one here that uh, Stone was the only one here when I was talking about. But this was my Ranger, and I, I'm just not having as much fun with that character. Rangers tend Tend to be boring. I thought I'd like it. I didn't. This is my new character. Um, a Norn Bridget Wolf Spirit. Bridget's a, a nod to my wife's nickname that her co-workers gave to her. And she is a Revenant. Which means... I, I honestly don't know. Like, it's some later game class that came along. Um, that basically you take leaders of, like, old... Not leaders. Uh, what's the word? Maybe it is leaders. I don't know. But you basically have in ha spirits inhabit you and you get their abilities. Like you can inhabit a dwarf spirit can inhabit your person, a thief, a demon, um, and other things. And that infects your other abilities. And also what you use affects what of your normal abilities you can use. It's actually really cool. So I've been having a lot of fun with that character. I've just been starting to go through her story. Um, but for on stream... We got kicker of buckets. Yeah, it's real. You know what? You know what? We got we got a couple minutes. Let's let's um. The one thing I wish I could do no is you have to like almost exit the game to switch characters, which is really dumb. Uh. Or at least I don't know. Remember my password. So instead of having to retype it in, I'm just gonna log in and then ready up. Yeet. I probably shouldn't have my email on there like that. That's that's something I gotta not do. Oh well. Let's let's. I'll show you some of Bridget Wolf Spirit. Again, I, really, she's only at like. She's supposed to be only like level 20 or 30, and I haven't explored like any of the world at all. Uh, but let's, let's go. Excuse me. All right. Clothes. Why does no one want to wear clothes? I would love that mount. That's so cool. Alright, so... I have... In my... Training... I can have... Oh, it's a legendary. So you can you can channel legendary heroes. That's the proper explanation. So you can let, let channel a legendary dwarf, a legendary demon... Legendary centaur or a legendary assassin right now. I I have the legendary assassin or dwarf And you can see how I'm, I'm using this move right now. It just increases my speed and some stuff um, You can see that I'm actually have These lightning bolt symbols appearing because I only have eight percent of the energy left if I kill it early You'll see that will build as you're killing enemies. It'll kind of gain Similar to when you kill enemies as a necromancer, you get their life energy, which fills up a meter. Um, when you use her abilities, uh, like this one is dodge backwards through the mists, remove movement impairing conditions. So if I have someone to cripple me, I can hit that button. I'm suddenly backwards away from them. And then now that I've done that, I can say, okay, screw you. I'm going to step through the mists and attack that enemy so I can remove my conditions and go back and attack. Or... If I want, if I think I need more defense, I can um, use Right of the Great Dwarf, which channels the power of the Right of the Great Dwarf. Turn yourself to nearby allies to stone to reduce incoming damage. The legendary for um, the assassin is that you turn everyone to, to jade. Um, 
for a short generation, which basically means you, they, you freeze them in place, which is pretty cool. Um, but my favorite dwarf move, besides all, like, these are all the strong ones. The basic one besides your health, that's my favorite, is, is this one. You summon hammers to swing around you. And you just can run around. Let's go mess with this moose. I'm just swinging hammers at this moose. I didn't do anything. How cool is that? Right? How cool is that? And then I can also use swords, which I never played as a warrior. Um, so yeah, if you have a group of enemies that are attacking you from all sides, uh, you can do that. Then you can do this. Uh, create a stone road that damages and weakens foes as it's created. Once it's created, it will pulse, granting stability to allies. So you can also boost your allies. You can, you can degen stuff to enemies. You can, like, it, it's just all around really neat. Um... The demon stance. Uh, de grant resistance to yourself and nearby allies. Absorb conditions from those allies. Um, deal damage. Apply chill. Remove boons from your foe. Which. See, I, I think one of these, like. What is it? Leap towards your targeted area and pull foes towards your landing point. So I can pull enemies towards me and then I can remove their boons. Um, and then summon the power of a legendary demon to transform into a powerful avatar. Pulse torment to nearby foes. Use skills that cost energy increase that torment or using skills that cost energy increases the torment applied on the next pulse. So torment is 16 damage, 23 damage if foe is stationary. So like it just constant. It's again, it just constantly attacks. It's re it's a really neat concept for a character let's let's steal this moose's hoof apparently i just want his hoof so yeah i've been having i've been having a lot of fun um with it <laughs> so far and what's this chain one i actually don't even know launch a chain at your target foe and foes around your target when the chain connects with a foe it slows and taunts them um you take less damage from taunted foes. So you, you're going to pull attention. Use that so that they don't attack your allies. They'll attack you. They're going to attack you for less damage. And then you can use the swinging hammers to damage them as they get close to you. And then you can a act as the great dwarf to channel uh, yourself into stone and in reducing damage. But when you do that, it's going to take a certain amount of your energy here so you have to manage your what moves you're doing with the energy you're using it's it's like it's a it's a balancing act which is really fun i think all right i think it's fun it comes across as fun all right let's go ahead and let's exit the game again because i don't remember what i'm doing I don't remember what i'm doing yeah Yeah, exactly. Exactly on Sensory T. It does exactly that. Alright. It's really what... About how you want... It really, like, it gives you the ability to how you want to play. Um, Which I just found the Ranger, like, boring. It was very... It was one... It was very monotone. You, you do one thing... You can set traps. You're supposed to be a ranged character, but traps only work where you set it. So, like, it has very limited ability to, like, be helpful. Um, and it, a lot of it was also, like, help your party, help your party, help your party. And I, I, I usually play solo. So, it didn't help me at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one cares. Tybalt! Oh, you know what? Before we get too far. Oh, uh, alright. We'll see if we can get through this. Hi! 
Au revoir, Dieu. What? Hold on. This takes precedence. I got this quote from my wife. There is a man in the cafe eating sushi and drinking a gallon of chocolate milk at the same time. Those two things do not gel. Oh no. That's disgusting. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, no thanks. No thanks. No thank you. Solid pass. Solid pass. Uh, conference room. We're going from one tent to another tent? What's happening? Where do I go? Or is this the conference area? Oh, okay. Yeah! <laughs> We have a situation of critical importance. <laughs> We've lost contact with Yang Isis, Oops, one of our one. agents in Lion's Arch. I fear he's gone rogue and turned against us. If so, he could be taking a lot of secrets with him. The very heart of the order is in jeopardy. I plan to send two of our best operatives to track Yang down. Was Yang aware of the Master's true identity? I don't think so, but it's possible. We had to trust Yang a great deal in order to move him into a prominent position in the city. Agent, it's time to promote you to Lightbringer, our highest class of operative. Congratulations. Too bad it comes on the heels of such trouble. We're relying on you to handle this situation. No trouble that Tybalt and I can't handle. If Yang Isen betrayed the Order, we'll see he never shares what he knows. Real, brief the operatives. Then return to Lion's Arch and continue in your guise as the Commodore's assistant. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. By your will, Preceptor. Oh my god. This is taking like like, like stone. I, I know, man. Alright, last mission was dangerous. Yeah, it's it's kind of you to worry, but we can handle it, perhaps. Our partnership's good. Noted. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, great, cool. So we got we got a rogue agent. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and now. Oh, I hope that because I left the game, I'm not in a different. So there's the different servers. And then there's, um, shoot, I bet you because I, that game crashed on me, it put me in a different server and the, the dragon's not on the same schedule now. Crap! Okay, um... Well, yeet. All right, let's let's move away from these branded sparks before they go crazy. Damn it! I wanted to show you guys the freaking um, the freaking fracking what's it? Quick freaking bracken. Um, I want to show you guys the dragon. That sucks. Damn it. Um, you know what? Uh, hold on a second. Wow, you can tell that my desktop thing just popped on. Thanks, thanks Google for being so bright. Let's see here. Keep up the good work, guards. No, it is on a schedule. Damn it. How did I miss it then? 
The next, the next one is in two and a half hours. Balls. Yeah, you're right, Stone. Damn. Well, that's disappointing. All right. All right. You know, I tried. There's no way to beat the dragon that fast. There's no way. Like, there would still be people hanging around, like, checking out the chest that it gives you and everything. Man! Uh... Let's see, what did I miss from that conversation? Uh... Shut up. Excuse me? Who told me to shut up? Okay... Mm-hmm. Man. That's that's heckin' disappoint. Let's get this waypoint before we start the next mission. Yeet. Alright, we got it. Yeah, I know, right? How dare they? Do they even know who I am? No, they don't. They don't give two flying craps. All right, and pineapple. Pineapple water. It's good stuff. It's actually not a pineapple. Like, pineapples are freaking gross. It's just a water bottle shaped like a pineapple because that's funny. The door was locked when I got here. Good thing I was raised Iron Legion. What the hell does that mean? Means you're good at breaking and entering? No sign of Yang. You check the top floor. I'll head for the basement. Alrighty. Hello. It's unmade. The wardrobe contains heavy leather clothing, the kind mercenaries and animal keepers wear. <laughs> okay. Hey, a book. Dear Diary, I have betrayed the Order of Whispers. A ledger contains a detailed list of creatures for the arena. There's one column for creatures captured and another for creatures sold. Look at the column of creatures, creatures captured. Captured rock dogs, breeze riders, and skelk. Last capture was from a few days ago. But no new creature type. Okay. And this one. A variety of gravelings from Ascalon. Uh, okay. Lightbringer. I think I found something. Oh, we found something. Yeah, we're not exactly sneaky, are we? Tunnel beyond this pile of rocks. Help me clear it and we'll see where it goes. Okay. You know what? I I don't have to do this work. Let me bring out a giant beast. We're like five. Come on, everybody. Help me break some rubble. There we go. Uh, okay. Whoa! Hey, they're all crazy. It's like we didn't just defeat a bunch of these, so, like, you know, no big deal. That was weird. Yang Ison used to put on big gladiatorial contests with his beasts. I heard he even sponsored a few of the old Destiny's Edge bouts. This must be where Yang kept his monsters. He took really good care of them. Better than his employees, that's for sure. No sign of him, though. Would he abandon all these animals to starvation? No way. Like I said, Yang liked animals better than he liked people. He was always looking for new creatures to train. I wouldn't be surprised if he finally found something he couldn't tame. Very possible. Maybe something in the cages will give us a clue to what's happened to him. 
Did something just explode? Oh, okay. There's more critters. Cool. Hey, it's just a raven. Uh, all right. Did anyone else just notice the raven coming through? That's not normal. Right? Yeah. I didn't mean to ignore your com comment, by the way, on Sensory T. It, it does, it's just like, slap it until it's gone. And I have a feeling he may have been eaten. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. That's different. Immune? Why are they immune? Hello. Another time. Okay, another time then. Hi. Oh, I thought they were friendly for a second. My mistake. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. It's a corpse. Hello, corpse. That's him. It's Yang Isa. Wow, he's seen better days. He was killed recently. Be careful. Whatever it was, it might still be there. Over there. It's a zombie. I like how they're like, the guy tried to sell secrets, man. And we go and find him. Like, no, this is one of his pets killed him. One of the things he's trying to capture and sell killed him. <laughs> right on sensory T. <laughs> uh. It's Orion. That monster was from Or. It can't be. Not here. Not in Lion's Arch. Calm down. Have you seen one of those before? It's really rare. Some kind of special scout. I read about the only other sighting of one when I worked the file rooms. Lightbringer. That operative saw it in Fort Stalwart just before Zaitan's minions wiped out the town. Zaitan only sends them when he's about to send in his whole army. Lion's Arch is in danger. Oh no. Jones, are you absolutely sure about this? Trust me, we need to warn the Lion Guard. Meet me at their fortress on Claw Island, and let's hope we're not too late. What's on Claw Island? Claw Island Fortress stands in the harbor of Lion's Arch. It's the last defense against invasion from the sea. If Shaitan's going to attack the city, its minions will have to fight their way past the fort. Great. That sounds exciting. I'm so glad to be a part of it. 